girl hey welcome to my productivity motivation video we have so much to get into this video from cleaning to shopping to meal prepping the list goes on but before we get into our productive bag your girl needed a little boost so let's make some green tea i've been trying to supplement coffee with green tea and my new tea maker from by deem has made the transition super easy i've been using their k176 electric tea and coffee brewer the steam system fully extracts the essence and flavor of tea leaves and coffee plus the tea water separation design prevents prolonged soaking avoiding a bitter taste and i'm very particular about my tea so i love that you can choose between five flavor levels that range from light to bold taste so you can make your tea to perfection every single time and you can also choose between four temperatures ranging from 140 degrees to 212 degrees fahrenheit so you can make everything from green tea to fresh coffee the options are limitless plus if you have some tea left over you can keep it warm for up to eight hours by pressing the 212 degree fahrenheit button for two seconds and then pressing the start button that basically activates the keep warm function so it'll stay warm for up to eight hours i am so happy to officially be a tea girly thanks to by deem and you can be too click the link in my description to shop today As of recently, life has definitely been lifing and I feel like your girl's just been in a little bit of a rut. So whenever I get like this, I just let too many things slip through the cracks and then I look up and my life is just in shambles. So I was like, today I'm getting it together. I'm planning, I'm prepping, I'm accomplishing. Like I was just tired of feeling overwhelmed, tired of feeling like I couldn't get out of this space. So I just faced it. Like sometimes the tasks ahead of us look so daunting that we just don't do anything about it. But I stopped putting the pressure of having to do everything and just put a few things on my to-do list today. And if I get those done, then it's a win. So I headed upstairs because I had a little bit of office work to do before we head out. I had a call that I needed to hop on and then I just wanted to go through emails. If you guys have watched some of my weekly vlogs, you guys know I love to plan on my iPad. So I've been using Google Calendar calendars and then the task app as well google calendars helps me to plan on a month-to-month -month basis and then the task app helps me to plan on more of a day-to-day -day basis so i made sure to go into the task app and just add in all of my tasks for the day some of those include going to the car wash we're gonna go restock shopping at target we're gonna come home and meal prep and then we've got a little bit of self-care to do it's giving very much versatile. But before we leave the house and do any of that, I had a laundry order that was about to be picked up. Let me tell you something about delegating. Delegating will relieve a lot of that mental load. And I learned that as a mom. I tried to be the mom that was going to do everything, show up in every area, and then I was quite literally burnt out. So I have definitely been outsourcing when it comes to things like laundry. I used to get my house clean, but I just felt like they wasn't cleaning it like me. So I stopped doing that. But laundry has been a huge help because as you know laundry never stops and it's super annoying so i just placed my laundry order outside and now it is time to get into the car so we can head to the car wash this was on the top of my to-do list because we recently came back from a road trip and it definitely shows on the car i've learned that white cars require a little bit more maintenance so i've been trying to go to the car wash every week i don't make it every single week but at least you know i tried girl but this week i did so i was proud of myself and there's just something about a car wash that is just so peaceful so relaxing i love it One thing I noticed that as I started to check things off of this daunting to-do list, I started to get a little bit more confident with every check. Like we always think it's not possible to accomplish the things on our to-do list, but then you start doing it and you're like, hold on, wait, like I can actually do this. And it just gives you a confidence boost. Trust me, girl. When I say I have been there where I don't want to do anything, 
but there's something about doing the things that you said you were going to do and of course there are seasons that are literally just meant to rest but there's also times when you do need to get things done and I feel like I was in a place where I needed to get it done like I need to stop wallowing and I needed to just get these things done and I was really proud of myself now that the car is nice and clean we're gonna head over to Target to do a little bit of restock shopping now I'm definitely a Target drive up type of girl but I really just wanted to get outside and I just wanted to browse and shop now that's always not a good idea when it comes to Target but I was like listen I'm gonna stick to my list I've got some like trash bags some kitchen supplies paper towels stuff like that that I needed to restock on so it was nice to just get out and about I'm also a mom of two so I feel like moments like this I just have to embrace and soak in and I think one thing I've learned with parenthood is like you really can't have an off day and that pressure itself is just a lot like you can be sick and your toddler's still gonna be in your face so I feel like I've just been finding the balance of allowing myself to like rest but also getting things done because the reality of parenthood is like if you don't get things done things are not going to get done and you've got people depending on you to get them done so I also use that as my motivation in the times when I really feel like I cannot do it I just think of my babies and I'm like listen nobody's gonna do it for them I have to do it for them so there's a lot of things that come with being an adult and I've been learning that on this journey and I'm just taking it day by day but I was proud of myself that I just got up and I started accomplishing all these tasks and it felt really good okay so I ended up finding some containers that I really liked I wanted to meal prep today but I needed some new meal prep containers I preferably wanted the glass ones but the ones I really wanted were on Amazon and they weren't going to be in by today so that's why I just ended up going with these ones from Target I also picked up some kitchen supplies because I did want to do a little kitchen reset and now it is time to head home so we can put all of this to use we're going to meal prep and then we are going to do a little bit of self-care okay y'all so it's time to do a little bit of a kitchen reset i don't know about y'all but if i get some new cleaning supplies i'll be hyped to clean okay i put on a little bit of worship music i set the vibes and i'm just ready to reset and clean the kitchen was not too bad today i just ended up having to put away some of the things i bought and then i wanted to deep clean the sink so i'm gonna allow the music to vibe out and play this is gonna be your chance to get up girl get up you got this get started write that to-do list we're gonna get it done together Okay, so now we are going to meal prep. I have not meal prepped in so long. It felt good to meal prep, but I was like, dang, this is very time consuming. But I feel like it's worth it in the long run because one thing about me, I will order out for lunch every single day. So meal prepping is definitely going to influence me to not do that because I got meals at home. I feel like when me and my husband make dinner, we never have leftovers. Maybe it's because we know nothing about portion control or maybe we don't make enough food. But regardless, meal prepping just ensures that I'm gonna stay on my diet. So I'm excited for it. I love salmon. If you know me, you know I love a good salmon. And I feel like salmon is super easy to meal prep because you get a nice big piece of fish, 
throw all your seasonings on top i use the tony creole some paprika garlic powder onion powder a little bit of parsley a little bit of season salt a little bit of garlic all the things i love a flavored salmon as well as some squeezed lemon juice just yeah my salmon is bomb like if you ever had my salmon you know what's up then i'm going to mix all of those spices and seasonings onto the salmon and we're going to be putting it on a tray at 400 degrees fahrenheit for about 14 minutes and then for two minutes i broil it to get the skin nice and crispy some people don't like skin on their salmon i personally love skin on my salmon okay i think it is so good but if you don't like skin on your salmon then there's definitely ways to take the skin off of course i'm cleaning the area because this was raw fish i was working with so disinfecting that with a little bit of bleach and then we're going to move on to our veggie i really wanted to do broccoli and carrots but i'm gonna be honest girl i didn't feel like cutting up the carrots so i just did a whole bunch of broccoli which was still good like i love veggies i genuinely do so having just a whole bunch of veggies as a side is always great for me and then i just put a little bit of olive oil a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper mix that all together and pop that in the oven with the salmon So these are the meal prep containers I ended up finding from Target. They're super cute, but they are plastic. And I've heard plastic is not great when you're meal prepping. So I would personally opt for glass, but this is all that they had available. I ended up making some rice in my rice cooker. And of course the salmon, which came out so, so good. And then the veggies. I, I overcooked the veggies a little bit. We're not gonna talk about it. Girl I was upstairs trying to put my baby down to sleep. So it, it is what it is. Now my husband literally had food poisoning this day. So he was not joining me for dinner. So I thought I would just spend it with God and have a little date with Jesus. Because whenever I'm in a rut, I know I can call on the Lord. There definitely is a space and a season to be productive and to execute and to get things done. Like we even see that in the word when the word talks about how lazy hands lead to poverty, but diligent hands lead to wealth. So there definitely is a space to like execute and get things done. But I feel like doing that outside of God, not allowing God to partner with you on that is another reason why we can become so exhausted, so empty. Like we finish all of these things and then we still feel unfulfilled from it. So I just spent some time with the Lord and it definitely helped just with my mental space in general. And to end the night, you know, we had to do some self care. I was out and about all day and I just wanted to show myself some love. And this is definitely a message for all of my mamas. Do not feel guilty about showing your self love. We are demanded and pulled in all different directions. And I feel like one thing I have done a good job at with motherhood is still prioritizing my self-care like still making it a point to love myself to show myself love to like do the hygiene still all the things that I used to enjoy when I wasn't a mom I still make that a priority because it's special to me and it makes me feel really good I ended the night with watching one of my favorite shows y'all see my husband he was going through it so he was knocked out but it was a really good day and I'm super proud of myself and I'm super proud of you as well girl I hope this motivates you to get up and get at it <laughs>